Welcome to Technology on the Move. I am Balu Chaturvedula, VP of Supply Chain Technologies and your host for today. Today, we are going to talk to Srini Venkateshan, who is the Senior Vice President for Supply Chain Technologies and going to get valuable insights about how supply chain is actually taking the lead. Eleven thousand five hundred stores delivering millions of products to millions of customers. How does it all work, sir? That's the greatness of supply chain within Walmart. So we have a, a vast distribution center network, which deals with all kinds of goods, from general merchandise to milk to strawberries. We have a very special fresh food network, which makes sure that like strawberries reach at the store as soon as they are harvested or as fast as they can be pulled in. so that the shelf life of the strawberries in the store is very high and customers really get fresh strawberries so it is very important for us to make sure that not only do we tour area all the fulfillment centers we also need to make sure our transportation is running in a very environmentally sustainable way carrying full loads not wasting any space in the truck so this all magic is what is done by the supply chain technology to ensure that like every store has the supplies ready for the customers when they need to come into shop so a lot of things and a lot of people take pride in making this happen day in day out for so that customers when they go to the stores they are able to just pick the item that they want and then go home so that's what Walmart is well known for and Walmart has really earned its way into the customers mind by doing this Yes, really. So technology is rapidly accelerating how retailers and e-commerce giants do the business. What is Walmart doing in order to latch onto that innovation journey in technology and the rapid changes in technology? See, uh, there are, there are two pieces to it. One is technology which enables our business, and the technology that is changing the uh, industry. Uh, let me focus on the second one first, and then we will go to the first one. On the second one, technology, especially gig economy. with the advent of Uber and DoorDash is transforming transportation in such a fast pace that like there are so many drivers now that technically available for delivering goods to your home so this is one of those areas where we have to adapt from our own technology perspective on to adapt to this gig economy that means we need to provide the best of the tools in connecting all these fragmented networks while doing so we also need to do the first one which is we need to build our own network which is where technology is important be it driver management be it driver incentive management be it being able to do feedback systems and reviews to make sure that the delivery experience is consistent and reliable all those are ingredients of building our own network while doing that we also have to maintain the balance between trying to figure out how we integrate with the third party networks actually that leads into the most logical question which is what can you say about walmart transportation and why our truck drivers are so awesome so walmart has an history of uh, in uh, investing in our own network uh, this is dated back from when the time walmart started right we invested in our own fleet and our private fleet is one of the biggest fleet in the country and some of the safety records of our truck drivers are so awesome they have dri- driven like a million miles without even an incident that is unheard of in the truck driving in the industry so the pride and the accountability of our drivers and the ability of walmart to invest in our own people is what makes our walmart fleet awesome awesome thing actually that leads into the next question which is um as you rightly said we are actually scaling amazing level on the store side and bringing e-commerce into the play and what do you see the synergies between e-commerce and stores and how all of this actually automatically happens so the 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 key ingredient is this as making sure that the supply is near the demand and what i mean what do i mean by that like you are ordering an airpod or you want to get your own uh, coffee uh, maker your coffee maker what we do and this is the magic that happens behind the screen to the technology is we make sure that we know where you are and we know where the inventory is and we try to get the inventory from the perfect location which is closest to you or the cheapest for us either one of that so that we can make sure that like the goods are picked 
and ship very quickly and it reaches your hands pretty fast. So uh, there is this traditional uh, fulfillment centers which are paid warehouses where we keep all the uh, assortment. But then we also have the super centers which are all over the country which has about 100,000 items that people buy in day in day out. So we try to move the, both the high velocity SKUs and the low velocity SKUs from the uh, fulfillment center and we try to push the high velocity SKUs from the super center. So th that is the orchestration magic. We are continuously looking at um, supply chain to reduce carbon emissions and conserve natural resources. What is Walmart specifically doing in this category? Walmart being the biggest fleet and, and being one of the biggest retailers in the world uh, takes environment uh, sustainability very seriously. So we do a lot of uh, efforts, uh, be it increasing the fuel mileage on our trucks, uh, investing in electric uh, trucks, uh, investing in solar power on, on our uh, stores and our DCs to be able to produce sustainable electricity. Those are things that Walmart is very committed to. Not only that, Walmart is also committed to pushing back on the suppliers to produce more environmentally sustainable packaging, uh, making sure that the goods that are delivered to us are all most effective uh, way possible. And what can you say about Project Gigaton? Project Gigaton is one of those initiatives that Walmart has done where uh, we are targeting to reduce carbon dioxide emissions across the, uh, our footprint. So that is uh, that is the umbrella under which all of the things that I mentioned up to operate on. See a few rapid questions. Okay. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Bangalore? So to move less by traffic. For me, it's not about traffic. It's about Brindavan Gardens. I know that it's in Mysore. What's your worst fear? Worst fear is fear of snakes. What is the worst place that you could get stuck in? Being stuck in an elevator. What's your biggest addiction? Up to last month was Candy Crush, which I would play all the time. How long does it take to get ready for you? Um, I would say anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes. What's your favorite cricket IPL team? Uh, Chennai Super Kings. What's your favorite football, American football team? Uh, it's Dallas Cowboys. When Srini is not thinking about work, what is he thinking about? I immerse myself in uh, fiction books and I'm learning a lot more about. As the startup ecosystem buzzing in logistics space, how does the future hold for Walmart? You talk about supply chain as one of the key ingredients of anything that happens in this world. So this has been one of those industries that has not been touched as much by technology for a long period of time. Now there are so many upstarts which are trying to conquer different aspects of the supply chain to make it more nimble, more cheaper, more faster. Uh, there are a lot of cool technologies that choose to optimize pieces of it. At Walmart, what we are focused on is the true overall end-to-end -end, uh, ecosystem and putting the supply close to the demand. That is the thing that not only improves the supply chain, and we talked about environmental sustainability. It also makes environmentally sustainable supply chain. And I think as we go through this journey, we are going to look at a lot of uh, startups which are doing pieces of it we might look at it, we might uh, acquire some, we might be investing in some, but overall our goal is to really reduce the end-to-end -end, uh, cost and provide it in a very sustainable, ecological, environmental way. That was very insightful conversation, Srini. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. It was my pleasure.